What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome to a new series called Space Engineers Apocalypse. This is sort of a mini series because it might not last very long. <laughs> the reason I say that, well you'll see, we're gonna, we're gonna set a bunch of settings to the point where we're probably going to end up dying. So the whole point of Space Engineers Apocalypse is we're gonna set the settings such that it's gonna be very difficult for us to survive and not only that, the series is only gonna go as long as we survive. And you guys have seen me in the Let's Play. I don't survive very long, but I'm gonna try my best here to stay alive. So let's let's go ahead and start this. We're gonna be doing a normal, kind of a normal star system on survival, not creative, that would uh, ruin the point here. We're gonna name it uh, Sp Space Engineers, Space Engineers, oops, ears, uh, apocalypse. I don't know how to spell apocalypse. That's one of those weird words that I don't know. So I'll, I'll say apoc. Um, so yeah, every time I spell apocalypse, it's just like weird and stuff. Okay, so mods, we're gonna add in uh, the skybox or the unlimited speed. We're gonna add in the skybox because I like the skybox. And I think that's it. We don't really need to add anything else at this point. So yeah, we're going to keep the skybox and the unlimited speed mod and those should be good. Let's go into our advanced settings. We're going to set our inventory size to realistic. This is the crazy thing. For apocalypse settings, everything is going to be set to default to realistic mode. So it's going to be a pain. We're not going to set it this low, but realistic. Oh my god, it's going to be so bad. Environment hostility, Armageddon, the unrealistic setting. That's right. So we're going to have to survive in Armageddon stuff, which means this series might be five minutes long. Hopefully it's not, but it definitely could be. Asteroid amount, low density is fine, yeah. Floor density, me, uh, we're t we'll turn floor density to low, just because uh, it it's going to cause a lot of lag with all this, all these meteors, so we do want to like make that not, yeah, a thing. Uh, limit world size, unlimited, well, I, I mean, honestly, we should probably limit world size, because I doubt we're going to be getting off of Earth, so let's go ahead and limit world size to 50k, uh, just to reduce lag once again, because I think uh, that might be a thing. Uh, respawn ship cooldown. We're not going to start in a respawn ship. I'll show you how we're going to start uh, once we actually get there. So we'll see. Day duration. Let's go with uh, 30 minute days. I think we find max objects. That's fine. Max ship size. Blah, blah, blah. Everything looks good. We're going to enable spec so I can make the thumbnails and stuff. Uh, I think. Oh, perm death. Right. So yeah, if we die, it's over. That We're playing perm death mode. Um, what else do we want? No air tightness, unsupported stations. Okay, everything else looks good. Should we turn on, uh, what, what are they called? Cyber wolves? I guess we'll turn on cyber wolves as well, just for the added hostility, since it is apocalypse after all. Um, enable turret, or friendly turret damage? No. Let's not do that. Uh, okay. I think, actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's do that. So if we have turrets to shoot down the meteors, we're going to have to make sure that we don't get in the way. I think everything else is good. We'll enable these, but honestly, uh... Yeah, should we enable drones as well? Oh my god, if we enable drones, we're gonna get destroyed. Because they're gonna they're gonna completely kill us. Um let's enable drones as well. Uh let's let's enable drones. Yeah, let's enable drones as well. We'll take off wolves. No, keep wolves. Keep wolves and drones. Why am I thinking that I should make it easier on myself? It's called Space Engineers Apocalypse for a reason. So I think we're gonna be good. Let's hit OK and we're good to go. Let's start this baby up. Alright guys, welcome to Space Engineers Apocalypse. We're in, and this is our start. We're not using the respawn ship, because honestly, I think I'd probably die on the respawn ship alone. There's a meteor incoming, and I don't know where it is. I heard it say it, but I don't actually see the meteors, so... Uh, but this is our start here. We've actually... Oh, oh, oh my god. There they are. They're the first of the meteors. Uh, but this is this is our respawn area. We've got a lot of cargo containers here. And this is essentially just our spawn materials. And the reason we need so many are because uh, we need... Like, they, they only carry, like, a little bit compared to the other ones. So we need a bunch of these things to hold our spawn materials. And this is pretty much because you have to start with something. Otherwise, uh, otherwise you're not getting anywhere. Because you have to be able to build at least a, a, uh, a refinery and a power source. Otherwise, uh, there's not really much you can do, is there? So we've got a couple of spawn materials. The trouble's not going to be finding the materials, then. The trouble is going to be actually building it in this area where uh, where we have the sky raining on us <laughs> at like 24 seven. So here's one of the rules that I've decided is that you uh, or I, I guess I'm not allowed to build inside the mountain. I feel like that's cheating and it's just, it's just unfair. So this is just a re like, like not a respawn, but just, just our spawn area. It's somewhat protected. It's got heavy, heavy metal on top so that we don't instantly die. We've got to at least have a little bit 
Uh, like I said, we don't want this series to go only five minutes. So let's go ahead and uh, I think we need to start with the power source um, just because we don't have anything. So I did give ourselves a little bit of uranium as well. So if we do manage to get a power source up and running, we'll be all good. So what I need first is a power source. I need a uh, I need a medical room and then I need what do I need? Power source, medical room for health and then and power and um I need to refill my hydrogen, so I need some sort of oxygen generator. Uh, and then from there, I can actually go down and grab some ice over by the ice lake that we've started at. So let's go ahead and get our get our power source situated first. So let's grab a couple of steel plates. Um, so this is unpowered, so I don't actually know what's in what. Um, so that's kind of sucks, but I think... Okay, there's steel plates in here. And look at our inventory space. We can only carry 100 before we're pretty much bogged down. So let's go ahead and throw this stuff. Here, I'll put in number three, actually. Uh, so you're, or, uh, we want a reactor, some sort of, yeah, small reactor. We're going to throw that right about, let me make sure that those aren't hitting me. Oh, those are coming in at a bad angle for me. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't like this. Okay, we're going to set up right here. We're going to start our basic stuff here, but obviously this is not enough space to actually uh, thrive in. We're going to have to kind of expand a little bit. And the way that we have it set so that our in inventory space is so low and our welding speed is so slow... We're also going to have to be building ships to be able to uh, efficiently uh, weld everything. So we need construction components, metal grids, large steel tubes. Those large steel tubes are going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, so construction components, metal grids, and large steel tubes. We have some construction components right here. I'm going to throw this stuff back. Is that enough? That was enough. Uh, metal grids and large steel tubes. So we have one metal grid there and a couple of large steel tubes. Only three, though. We need eight. So let's, let's actually throw this stuff all back and we'll... There we go, that's eight. So we need uh, metal grids. We don't need construction components anymore. But we need, yeah, metal grids. Okay. We'll grab as many as we can, which hopefully is enough. Jetpack fuel is critical. It's okay, we don't need to use our jetpack right yet. We need reactor components, which I think are up here, yeah. Oh god, we can only carry five and we need a hundred? Oh my god. Bring these back. Oh, we can carry 41, okay. Whew. That's good. I don't want to take a billion trips. So I gave myself exactly enough reactor components to get the job done at this point. There we go. Let's take a look at that meteor strike. Uh, once again, coming in at a, at a steep angle, which is dangerous because I don't have any protection on the side. Uh, and some of these actually look like they're on a uh, collision course with our base. So I'm going to step back here and hide. <laughs> we need six motors and 25 computers. Uh, we got motors in here, just one. What about in here? Oh, we have enough motors. Okay, we're good. And then we need 25 computers, which I don't know where those are, uh, but hopefully we can find them. If we keep sir oh, that's an empty one over there. That's good to know. And that one. Wow. I think I gave myself too many uh, car containers here. <laughs> but uh, computers, what do we need? So I'm sure some of you guys will be like, no, man, you gotta you gotta build the base. You gotta actually start with nothing. But like I was saying, you just can't. It's It's not possible to start with nothing. You have to start with a power source and... A reactor. That's why all the respawn ships have... Or not a reactor, a refinery. That's why all the respawn ships have those. Because otherwise, you, you're not going anywhere. And hopefully... I, I do plan on getting somewhere with this. So, small reactor. Awesome. Let's get some uranium. We have like... I think I gave myself 10. 10 uranium, which is probably too much. But honestly, like I said, I didn't want really uh, scavenging to be the main danger. I wanted like building ships to be dangerous and that sort of thing. So, we're going to bring out one. Because I don't think we need that much right now. So, we're going to go with one throw it in here and we now have power next thing we want to get up and running is going to be our uh health station which i kind of want to stick over here all the meteors seem to be coming from that direction so i kind of want to stick that over here kind of out of harm's way um kind of like this is out of harm's way so if i stick it right here yeah that's gonna be good so let's grab some steel Meteor plates because i'm pretty inbound. sure that's where they uh th that's what we need for that instead of interior plates i'm looking for that other meteor storm where is it I don't have any jetpack, so I can't fly up and see it, but whatever. It'll be coming in at some point. Uh, yeah, we need some steel plates. So let's go to number three, stick on our med room. And at any second, meteors could come like, oh no, we need interior plates. Meteors could come flying into our base, which is very dangerous. Um, yeah, I'll stick it right here. It's very scary because, I mean, I don't know how uh, the, the heavy metal blocks above us are going to withstand the... Um, the what's it called meteors so i'm i'm kind of scared let's throw this stuff back because we don't need it 66 how much do we need 200 okay so it's gonna take a couple trips but that's okay that's the name of the game in apocalypse mode we're stranded on a hostile planet with i actually, actually haven't seen any wolves yet have you guys 
I got, oh, yeah, there's one over there. Um, I guess wolves are going to get glitched again. Wolves always get glitched. That's why I was debating turning them on. They always, like, just randomly sit in the middle of nowhere. But, uh, whatever. I guess they'll be a threat, maybe? Construction components. We have a bunch in here. Awesome. Uh, what else do we need? I actually didn't check. Uh, we need metal grids and small steel tubes. Metal grids and small steel tubes. I bet we need large steel tubes as well, so let me take a couple of those. Yep. Okay, small steel tubes. Or metal grids are what I'm looking for. Bring those back. And small steel tubes. I take, I'll take one. Okay, we still need more metal grids. Let's get all the metal grids situated since that might be the, the heaviest of the materials. Doesn't that sound cool? Did you guys ever play Daisy APOC? That's what it sounds like. Every time I see now saving Space Engineers APOC, I'm like, oh, it's back to Daisy. Daisy days all over again. We need small steel tubes. I don't know if we need motors. But small steel tubes, definitely. And we got those right there. Awesome. Uh, we need some displays and medical components and more interior plates. So I can actually grab the interior plates right here. Um, not sure where the displays are or the medical components. There's displays. And are medical components anywhere? I don't think so. That's the last thing we need, though, is 15 medical components. So, <laughs> uh, what do they look like? I don't remember. That. Okay. We can only carry two. That's going to take a couple trips. Wow. Okay. Yep. This this is our life now. Two medical components at a time. We need 15. That's going to take at least eight trips. Which uh, kind of sucks, but whatever. It's okay. So how are you guys doing today on this wonderful apocalyptic day with meteors raining from the sky? Actually, they're not raining from the sky very much. Um, I thought it'd be much worse, but currently it seems like it's kind of mild. Let's build this thing up. It's going to take forever like normal but uh, we do need to get this up before we worry about any sort of ship and since we've got the welding settings so low i think we're going to need a welder ship immediately that's going to be our first ship but building ships is going to be incredibly dangerous that's how i kind of um get back feels critical that's how i kind of uh made made it so i could build this base right here because pretty much the base is fine the danger is going to be going out to do other stuff because we're going to have to build any roof that we want. We're going to have to build on our own from now on, which is going to take forever. Uh, and if we want to build a respawn ship, obviously we can kind of fit it under here, but it's not fully covered. So any meteor could come in and like whack it or something. I don't see that meteor strike. Oh, there it is. Just two. Okay. Three. Oh, that's not four. That's not five. Okay. That's not that bad. Six, seven, eight. <laughs> okay. It's a bad meteor, bad meteor storm. All right, we've now got this thing. Let's see if it works. Hopefully it does. Yep, we're getting our power back. That's good. Uh, next thing I want to get is an O2 generator so that we can start refueling our H2. That'd be good. So O2 generator. Do we have any steel plates on us? I don't think we do. Well, we have extra materials on us. Uh, so let's go into here, grab an O2. Meteor storm inbound. And another meteor storm right when the other one left off. Oh, we can't jump. We can't jetpack here. So we're going to have to like kind of get this sorted. Um, let's, uh, bring it down like that, turn it around, and there we go. We're gonna build this baby right here. Steel plates, we need a bunch of them. Do we have them anywhere? Oh, yeah, right, it was in this one, wasn't it? Ten only? Where's the rest? I know I gave myself a bunch of steel plates, yeah. Because steel plates, we, we don't want to, we don't want to have to go out and get steel plates everywhere. Construction components, right here. So I'm starting to understand where everything is, that's good. Large steel tubes, motors. Motors are in this one. Nope. Motors are in this one. Yep. Nope. <laughs> we can grab large steel tubes, though, at least. Because those are in there. Uh, motors and computers. Where were our motors? I guess there. Motors. I have to do a little trade off right there. And computers. We need five of those. Five computers. Where shall we find the five computers? Right there. All right. So after we build this, oh my god, this is going to be the scariest part of the episode so far. Uh, once we build this thing up, we're going to have to actually go and grab some ice from the lake. And I'll show you where the lake is in a second. We could very well die on the expedition to go get ice. Because uh, we don't, I didn't give myself any ice. I felt like that was part of the experience is having to go get ice. Uh, it's right down there, but the meteor strike could render us dead any second. Also, if we get ourselves stuck in a hole, we don't have any jetpack to get out quite yet so let me throw everything back down including no no we're gonna take the ammo in fact we're also, we're also gonna uh, get our gun out so weapons and tools character tools we're gonna grab a weapon an automatic rifle we're gonna stick it right there uh, that kind of 
takes away the block that we had there, but we'll stick the block right there. Okay, so weapons. We've got our weapon ready. It should be enough to kill a couple of wolves if they decide to mess with us. And then we've also got the, uh, the, the, the meteor strikes coming. So let's just go. We're just going to go for it. It looks like the terrain is kind of mild where we are. So it's not that bad. We're not. It's not like we're on a mountain and we have to jump all the way down or anything like that. We just kind of have to run all the way down here. But it's still scare. Okay. They're everywhere. Uh, but they're glitched, so I think it's fine. Let's just run right through them. And if we notice them start to attack us. Oh, uh, and here's a meteor storm. Oh my God, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to watch out. So here, here's a rule I'm gonna make. I said I couldn't go into a mountain, but if the meteors start to come after me. I'm going to say that I'm allowed to dig into a mountain for the time being. So I'm not allowed to base into a mountain, but I'm allowed to survive in a mountain uh, if you if you catch my drift. Okay, so we're going to hop into here real quick, um, just so we don't die from that. Jesus, it's everywhere. Uh, we're going to grab a couple of this as well. So pretty much we're destroying our cover at this point, but um, I think we're fine on this meteor strike. It's not going to mess with us. I'm slightly worried about dogs. Okay, there's our inventory. Like, coming up behind me or something, because... I mean, I have played on a world where dogs were, uh... Were... Like, annoyingly bountiful, and they didn't get glitched. So, uh... I do know how the, what that's like. Um, here's the question... Oh, there we go. I almost lost our base. That would have been weird. Should I kill these guys? You can actually get materials from dogs. So, I guess what I said before about you can't really go anywhere from... Starting from nothing. You can't actually. You just kill dogs for the materials. But, uh... But, yeah. Okay, here's our base... Welcome back. Uh, you know what I'm going to say as well? No coordinates. No GPS coordinates. If we find something, we have to remember where it is. Or we have to stick a beacon over there with power. Because uh, that's that's more realistic. So this is pretty much just realistic uh, space engineers. Plus apocalyptic mode. Okay. We got some ice. So that should be enough to give us our hydrogen back. Let's throw it all into there. And uh, we do have a couple of hydrogen bottles as well. So... Let's, there we go, we're full. How much ice does that leave us with? 800? That's good. Okay, let me grab some hydrogen bottles. Here's one. I don't know where the other ones were stuck. Uh, but I haven't seen them very much, so I think they're probably on these end ones. Uh, maybe not. Where did our hydrogen bottles go? I swear I gave me, like, three or four of them. <laughs> I guess we only have one hydrogen bottle. Okay, that's fine. Totally okay. Whatever. Uh, one hydrogen bottle will do for now. Stick that one in there. Get it fueled up. And we've got ourselves a hydrogen bottle so that we can fly around. Oh, God. It actually comes from this side as well. That's scary. And that's going down right there. Okay. Uh, we're going to get hit eventually. And there's another meteor storm. As this one's still going on. We got another meteor storm happening. Where's the other one coming from? How come I feel like Mars is, like, shooting at us? That's what the meteor storms look like. I don't know where the other storm's coming from. Okay. So, we've got these set up. I think it's probably about time to set up our welder ship. Our first... Uh, weld welding ship that's going to help us weld either the base or anything that we have to build. And a welder ship's going to be good not only for that, but also for the fact that it can carry materials. So uh, we're going to set up a welder ship, and we're going to try and set it up right here so that we don't get hit. I don't think we've gotten hit yet. Let me wait for these meteors to stop, and I'll, I'll go out and check. Uh, nope, they're still going. So many meteors. Remember the lag it was causing for the, the Let's Play world? I don't think... Oh my god, it's just raining. I don't think it's going to cause it very much lag, because I'm not getting very much lag at this point quite yet. Yeah, we have not been hit yet. I mean, I guess we would know um, if we had been hit. But uh, those meteors are going to be very deadly, because you saw right there, it was raining all in the same place. So once it finally does hit us, it's going to be bad. It's going to be really bad. And I'm gonna, probably going to have to run from the base, which is going to be very dangerous. Let's grab a little bit of this. We're going to have to keep an eye on our hydrogen level as well. Okay, let's set up all the things that we're going to need. I'm going to actually stand here while we do this. Set up all the things that we need for the um, ship. So we're going to need a landing gear. So uh, landing gear. We'll throw that down here. We're going to need a battery of some sort because we're going to have it a ba be a battery powered. Because I like battery powered. Uh, so battery right there. We're going to need a gyroscope. Always remember that. We're going to need our thrusters. So let's grab these. We're going to need, what do we need? Thrusters. Um, the cockpit. Uh, where is it? Right here. We need... What else do we need? A welder. Because we're making a welding ship. Welder. What else? Uh, we need blocks, but those are in our, our number one slot. Where is this one hitting, by the way? Oh, shoot. Nope, that's going to go past us. Okay, we're good. Um, what else do we need? Is that everything that we need right here? I could have sworn every time I do this, I set up a full uh, thing. But I guess we can start with this. So let's go with... Um, Need some steel plates for this. Oh my god, this is going to be a pain. We're going to have to build everything. 
<laughs> Everything's going to have to be built for our welder ship. But once we have the welder ship built, it'll actually help us out quite a bit. We can store pretty much everything inside our welder ship. But that's also dangerous because it means when our welder ship dies, if it dies, let's put that put it that way, um, we will lose everything. Uh, I want this to be a little bit close. Actually, you know what? Here's what I'll do. We'll go five. This is what we usually do for building ships. To three. We'll go up like that. We don't want to go up too high, though. Then we'll go forward. And that's where we throw our cockpit. So first, we're going to build the cockpit. That's my favorite thing to start with. Throw it right there. That's good. Hopefully, a meteor is not going to come in and snipe our almost uh, just started ship. We're going to build our cockpit. We're going to go with, oh, a medium container. Right. So G. Uh, container. I'm kind of scared because this this series could end at any second. Oh! Oh my god! It almost just ended. That would have been the series right there. Oh my god. That was scary. Wow. Okay. That was our first near miss right there. <laughs> as I was saying, the series could end any second. Oh, we need a connector as well, don't we? Oh, interior plates for this. We have some in here, I believe. Let's just grab some of those. Interior plates. There we go. And I think we might want to just throw a connector right on the end of this, baby. Oh, wait. No, we, this is not how we built our ship, is it? We need a uh, one of these things. Hang on. One of these. A conveyor. Conveyor. Because the, um, the the welding ship needs to be able to actually transport materials to its arms. So we need a sort of conveyor right here. And then from there, we can build the cargo container. So number seven, cargo. Uh, let's go back to the conveyors because we need the side conveyors, which are uh, like these little arms right here. So one on the side there. We'll put one on the side here. Flip that around. Oops, that's not correct. Same place, though. You had the right idea. Okay. There's a meteor storm incoming. I want to make sure I know where it's coming from. I think it's beyond the mountain. I don't actually see it. Okay, so we should be good. Number six. I keep hearing it explode, so I'm very afraid. But, uh, yeah, let's put that one right there. And we'll put this one right here. We've almost got the full ship done. Next thing we need is a connector. So let's throw that on. So connector, which we haven't built yet. Which we don't have yet, I mean. We'll throw our connector right here. And we don't actually have a base connection set up, so we're going to have to set that up somehow as well. But, uh, but yeah, th th it'll be fine. Okay, I think we're going to go with two batteries, like we usually do for this ship. Two batteries. Every time I make it, it's just a little bit different, though. So, I don't know. Two batteries, and is that good? Is that everything that we need? We need a gyro, obviously. I almost forgot that. So, oh, of course we need the thrusters as well. So let's go with the gyro first, and then we're going to build everything, and then we're going to throw on the thrusters, since the thrusters are a little bit uh, painful. So gyro, okay, let's build everything. We need, we're going to do a, well, first let's build everything that we can, I guess. There we go, just run around and, and uh, build everything. And then we're going to go material by material, uh, bringing it to wherever it's needed, pretty much. Okay, so first we're going to go with uh, probably steel plates. Nope, steel plates look good, actually. No, yeah, we still need more steel plates. Okay, so steel plates first, which I put in here. So, are you taking up most of my inventory? Oh my god, you're taking up most of my inventory. Well, you know what? We don't need you right now. We just need space, pretty much. So, we're going to go with the steel plates. And we need... Uh, are we good on steel plates? We might be. Nope. Still need a couple more. Um, interior plates now. Okay. So, interior plates are in here. Grab a couple of those. Make sure that everything is filled up with those. Then we're going to go for construction components after this. Let me make sure that this is all interior plated up. You need steel plates as well, but we can grab you later. Okay, construction components next, which we have in here. Awesome. We, we can actually grab a lot of construction components. That's good. Get some right there. And... Are we looking good? We are looking pretty good. Let's let's go and construction component the things up here. And I think we're good on construction components. Next thing we're going to need is going to be small steel tubes. I love how we're grabbing... Oh, we're actually out of construction components in, in our inventory. So that's that means that something probably didn't have enough. Small steel tubes there. What else needs them? Oh, I know the conveyors need them. So small steel tubes for you guys. Uh, next, we need motors, because I think a bunch of things require motors. Actually, do you require small steel tubes up here? I always forget about that, but motors will be next. So we'll throw the small steel tubes back. We'll grab 38 motors plus 
a couple more from here so we can get a full inventory of motors. We're going to go put some motors on this. Only four. Put some motors on this. That's actually going to finish up the uh, that thing. Motors right there. And do you require? Yes, you do. Okay, so let's finish up the things that we have just pretty much built. Oh, construction components for you. I almost forgot. Okay, well, let's finish this up at least. So you. The one on the left now. There we go. Uh, this still requires large steel tubes and computers, so we're not going to be able to finish that up yet. But uh, this stuff we're almost good for. Did you require motors, by the way? Probably. Yeah. Okay. We're looking pretty good. We need to grab some large steel tubes at this point, so let's go ahead and uh, grab some. Not everything needs them, but a lot of things need, like, one or two of them, so uh, we'll get them for them. You don't need any. You don't need any. What, what needs them? You? Uh, okay. And we need computers as well. Oh, did you need some, actually? Just gotta make sure. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you needed one. Uh, computers is going to be next. Let's grab some computers. And like I said, this is pretty much this ship that we're building is going to make it so that we don't have to do this anymore. We don't have to go back and forth grabbing material by material. Okay, let's go and grab some more hydrogen before we run out. I'm very glad that I actually took a look at that because that would have been really bad. <laughs> Just run out of hydrogen right there. Okay, let's build this baby up. I'm really going to have to not waste hydrogen considering I can only carry like... Carrying one of those hydrogen tanks takes up so much space. That it's almost not worth it. But it, it'll save us from dying, so that's definitely good. Um, computers for you. Computers for you. And you. And I believe, yeah, you need computers to be done as well. And what about you? You still need displays, so. Yeah. Let's see where the meteor storm is. It looks like we're going into nighttime. You know, I actually did give us some solar cells. Here, yeah, some solar cells. So we can build solar panels if we want, but I think it might be a little bit too dangerous to do so uh, on account of uh, Meteor Storm incoming. <laughs> so we might not build any solar panels. Come on, welder. It's times like this that you really appreciate having the better tools because they do definitely help. All right, let's build this one up as well. And in fact, we could have gone for a one welder ship as well. That would have maybe been a bit easier. But it's fine. Meteor storm inbound. Yeah, I don't know where that last meteor storm went. I think, I don't know. I guess it went off to the hills. But uh, do we need computers anywhere else? We probably need some for the gyro if I had to guess. So let's definitely give him his computers. Finally, we need some steel plates, construction components, displays. And I don't think we're going to do the bulletproof glass. But let's do the displays real quick. Just since I think only one thing needs them. Okay. Always always double check the environment. Make sure you're not walking out into a uh, death area. Gyro is good. Awesome. Stick the displays. Stick the displays back. Uh, next thing we need is more construction components. Because we forgot some on the gyroscope. And also the thing below it, I think. Yeah. There we go. Gyro only needs steel plates at this point, so that's good. Check where that meteor storm is. I don't see any lights, so I think we're good. It's easier at night, because you can actually see where the meteor storm is coming in. So that's definitely, a, like, a plus. There we go. And that's all done. Um, those meteor storms look like they are actually very dangerous for this. Put the steel plates in. Uh, we're not going to worry about the bulletproof glass, like I said, because I don't expect to actually be taking shots. Because um, I don't think we have any enemies. So, oh, these power cells are going to be brutal. 20 each. Oh my god, it's going to be so bad. Uh, how are you doing on uranium? You still have one, so you're hardly using any uranium, really. So, uh, power cells, let's, let's go ahead and get the power cells, get that out of the way. Uh, do we know where they are? I think they were in this one, actually. Yeah, power cells. Okay, we can go 7x7, seven seven, so it's going to take 6 trips to get all of these power cells. That's that's brutal. <laughs> and I was complaining of the other power cells. Jeez. Oh, gosh. What happens if we want to build, like, a, a large uh, thruster? It's going to take so much. All right. And that's that should be one battery. So that's good. Um, those aren't looking that dangerous for us. What do you guys think of this series so far? What do you think? How long do you... This is what I want to hear in the comments. How long do you guys think 
that we're going to survive. Oh, oh, there's another one coming in. There's a vengeance coming down. How long do you think we're going to survive in this series? Considering that I don't usually die from meteors, but I usually end up killing myself from something stupid, like running out of hydrogen. So how long do you think we're going to survive, and what do you think is going to end up killing us in the end? Could be something as simple as running out of oxygen. Could be as, as something as simple as getting hit by a meteor. Maybe we walk down there for some ice and one of those dogs turns on us at the last second. You never know. Anything could happen. Oh, we forgot some displays for this. I forgot that that requires displays. Okay, let's give you your power cells. Actually, let's let's carry like one display because I think that's what that requires. And then we'll carry the rest power cells. Um, seven, so it's still going to take us th three trips. Yeah, okay, so that one display was exactly what you needed. Looks like we only need one more trip of power cells here. There we go. We're almost to the point where all we need left is thrusters, so that's good. Uh, one more trip of power cells. We only need six, so let's let's drop one back. And yeah, I think that should be good. Let's grab some steel plates as well while we're going, because I think we need some for the thing up top, the gyro. Let's build this up. So that's one thing I saw a lot on the forums. Is a lot of people like playing with these settings where everything is really slow to build because it makes ships really, really uh, required, pretty much. If you want to have a nice base, you have to have a welder ship. Whereas in the, the Let's Play, for instance, we have the settings all bumped up, so we don't really need a welder ship. That's why you guys see me not using it very uh, much because we have something that's almost as good as the welder ship. All right, Gyro, you're looking pretty good. Um, we're going to have to place our thrusters carefully as well, aren't we? There we go. Now it's functional. I think that's fine. Uh, meteor storm. Do I see any? I do not. I do not see any meteors. Good. Okay. So uh, let's get the thrusters in place. I think they need steel plates. So let's grab a couple of those. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Okay. Um, we're going to do a simple... You guys are coming down over here. Yeah, they're over there somewhere. Okay, we're gonna do this like the same thing that we usually do. We're gonna go with the these thrusters. We're gonna po point them down right here. We're gonna go with four on each side. So just because we really want to be able to keep ourselves up, because if we crash, it could mean the end of the series. How scary is that? So we're gonna go with uh, these on the f f middle right here. Typically, when we crash, we actually crash with uh, those, um, like those actually blow off. That's why I'm not putting it on there. We're gonna throw this right on the front. So it's going to be a stopping power. We might even go with three if we find that we don't have enough stopping power um, so that we don't crash into anything. Let's go with uh, left turners. We can actually throw these right here. And we'll go with right ones right here. I wonder if a medium cargo container is going to be enough or if this is going to have to have like a large one. I don't actually know. If we if we have like a lot of trouble, we might like redo this design so that it's got more cargo or something. I don't know. We'll see. Steel plates are looking good. Okay. We're going to give everything steel plates before we move on to the next material, which is going to be the large uh, thing. Oh, my God. Thank you for telling me. Let's hop down here. Fuel critical. So if I were actually flying around, I could have just died there for running out of fuel. Meteor that's scary. We're really going to have to pay attention to that because that's not something I'm used to doing is actually paying attention to the jetpack fuel. Typically, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't pay attention at all. Okay, so you're good. Steel plates, you're good. You're good. Everything is good on steel plates. Next thing we need is the large steel tubes, which are going to be the fun one. Because we can only carry, what, like eight? Yeah. Each one requires one, but we have more than eight thrusters, I believe. Could you imagine if a meteor just comes in here and, like, snipes this thing? One of our ships, something's going to get sniped at some point. Some important piece of uh, technology. Is going to get sniped. We need more thrust or er, uh, more things. Two more, to be exact. So we'll grab two more, and then we'll we'll grab some uh, construct components as well, because I think that's what is required. All right. Some of those sound really close, by the way, like they're right there, but I don't know. Okay, you guys are good. You guys are good. Another meteor storm. How surprising. <laughs> Good, good, and good, and good. We need metal grids and motors. So we only need uh, 10 motors and 10 metal grids, I believe. So let's make sure we can get... Th Actually, here's 10. Look at that. And then 10 metal grids. I don't remember where we had those, but here they are. Just 10. It's not 10 slash. 
All right, the ship is almost done. Could you imagine right now? Boom. Oh, 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 the danger is real. Oh my God. We're actually in danger here. That's scary. Uh, I'm just gonna hide for a second. Uh, I'll, I'll work on this, how about that? Oh no, we required way more motors than I thought. Okay, well we can at least get the metal grids. Required 18 motors plus, 18 motors per rather. So 18 times 10 is 180 motors. That's how many we need. All right, let's grab 180 motors from here maybe? I don't remember where our motors are. <laughs> Here we are, 100. We can only grab 41. Oh, that should get us this side at least. Okay. Well, let's let's go ahead and build these ones at least. And these go kind of fast. It's not that bad. One, here's two. Meteor storm. Where is it? Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be a danger to us at our base. I mean, it could always hit us from the back, but we have a mountain kind of on our back, so it's a little, it's kind of hard for us for it to come in there. Oh, it is actually coming in from this side. We just didn't see it. Okay, let's grab some more motors from here. Whoa, did you see that? That was like a particle right there. I think we just, almost just got hit. And let's build these ones up. Oh God, I can. We did a lot more than we did in Let's Play as far as starting out, since we have pretty much we've got a medical base set up. We've got a power source and we've got a ship so that's good and I'm very happy that this might actually make it to episode 2 uh, something I was probably not expecting to happen so it, it, it is kind of cool to see that hopefully it makes it to episode I honestly I want this to be like a five episode series I honestly though I think we're gonna end up dying before we can make that a reality but we will see I guess but we'll certainly find out all right more motors where are our motors? There we go. Okay, so motors are number four. What's number? Large steel tubes and metal grids are number three. Okay. Got it. I'm remembering. Let's not use our jetpack so that we don't waste any fuel. Here's another meteor storm. It typically takes like at least 15 seconds for those meteor storms to uh, actually come into, into dangerous range. So it should be good here. Let's weld this up and look up. See where it is. Coming in from the side, that's a dangerous angle as well. So hopefully that doesn't um, decide that it wants to snipe us. Let's get some more hydrogen and some more power. We don't want to run out of that. All right, second meteor storm at the same time. And I don't know if you guys remembered in the let's play, but the meteors actually get worse and worse. So if this is the start, what's it gonna be like in like if we get to episode three? That's gonna be crazy. We're, we're getting to the like the hardest thrusters at this point. The ones that we're going to have to actually kind of step out of our safety in order to get. But we knew this would happen. I'm very scared. I feel like I'm in a survival game. Like, stepping out of the safety of, of my protected house. Anything could happen. I should really check for damages as well. I don't know if you guys remember, but we actually got hit that one time. So I should check to see if that's damaged. This should be the last trip that we need in order to get this thing up and running. Watch me having, watch me forget something like super simple with this ship. So, and it's actually gonna just like fall out of the sky immediately when I break it off. No, honestly, I think, I think our ship is pretty good. Let's go ahead and give it the uh, christening. Uh, okay. All right, there we go. It's actually floating. Oh, someone's ringing the doorbell. Hang on. I'll be right back. All right. That was weird. I don't actually know who that was on the doorbell. But we have a ship that's flyable. Uh, let's get in it. Check the uh, power. It looks like we're good on power. Let's press G. Go into our weapons and tools. Grab that. Throw that down there. There we go. Now that's active. How much inventory space does it have, I wonder? If we press I. We can see that. It's got the medium car container, which can only carry 3 million liters. Oh, my God. This is scary. Uh, let's uh, let's kind of move this into the comfort of our own home just a little bit more and we're gonna end the episode right there That's gonna be the first episode. We managed to build a lot of stuff Let's here turn this off so it doesn't waste power on uh, next episode The first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to build a some sort of connector connecting to all of this Maybe right here where we have kind of this hood. Uh, we'll stick a connector right there, and I think that'll be okay um, But well, how, how do you guys feel about this series so far? What do you like I said? What do you think we're gonna make it to episode two?
I mean, we're definitely going to get there, unless we get sniped during the outro. Um, episode 2, episode 5, episode 20, I don't think we're getting... I don't, honestly, I don't think we're getting past episode 5. We're definitely going to die by then, but hopefully we don't. So if you like the video, hit that like button. Put your comments and your suggestions down below in the comments section. And if you're, if you're not subscribed already, feel free to hit that little subscribe button. It's free, and it makes me happy. Uh, also, we have a link to the Discord in the description. Feel free to check that out. We have lots of fun there with conversations on Space Engineers, other games, everything, and everything, anything. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Space Engineers Apocalypse.